Um, we are here for the press conference for the film Seven Days. It's an international premiere, and uh, the film is in the main competition this year at uh, the 20th edition of the Black Knights Film Festival. And uh, we have the pleasure and the honor to have here uh, with us tonight the director of the film, uh, Rolando Colla, and uh, Linda Olsanski. Um, who are here to present the film. And uh, tonight there's the first screening of the film, which is already sold out, uh, both tonight and tomorrow. Um, which means that the film has been greeted uh, with great, great interest uh, from the public of our festival. And um, I'm sure the same will, uh, will go with um, other international film festivals, which will uh, definitely pick up the film. and. Uh, um, well, first of all, thank you for trusting us with the international premiere of the film and for coming to Tallinn uh, to present the film. And um, before, I, I, before I check if there's uh, any question from the press, I would like to kind of give a sort of background information of the film, so kind of an introduction to the film. Um, this is a Swiss and Italian co-production. And uh, so my first question to kind of approach the film and uh, its main topic is to understand how did the co-production start and what's your background for those who don't know. Um, if you can briefly tell us um, where you come from as an artist and uh, why this co-production. Mm -hmm. So we'll try to answer in English. And if it's uh, too complicated, I will answer in Italian. I'll be right here. So yeah. I have both nationalities. Mm -hmm. I'm Swiss and Italian. Okay. That means that I can ask money from the ministry in Switzerland and also in Italy. I also speak both languages. And Italian is also a Swiss language because in Switzerland you speak German, Swiss, Swiss German, mm -hmm. Italian and French. Mm -hmm. So this is a co-production with the Italian part of Switzerland, with the television, with the, um, the La Svizzera Italiana. Ticino. The Ticino, eh? And for me, uh, it was clear that the film will be on an island. We have no island in Switzerland. So I was looking for a little island, um, and I found it in Levanzo near Sicily, mm -hmm. the best one. And that is the reason at the end, then I have the, um, the main actor, he is Swiss, Bruno Todeschini. The actress, she's Italian, Alessia Barella. Linda Ozanski, she's Swiss. And uh, her, her partner in the film mm -hmm. is a French uh, actor. So at the end, uh, one part of the technicians are Swiss and one part are Italian, and it was perfect. Mm -hmm. That gives also visibility at the film because the film will come out also in Italy. Mm -hmm. And that's something that here in Estonia we're very um, accustomed to and very actually um, good at when it comes to co-productions because especially small countries it's kind of a necessity also to co-produce, to come out of your own um, national borders and work together with other countries to make it uh, more affordable also to develop the, the author's uh, ideas and intentions. Um, well, I'm Italian and um, I come from the South, uh, so I can quite relate uh, to the cultural background in which the whole story takes place. I'm from an island as well, Sardinia, so uh, that's very, uh, that was very interesting for me to watch the film because um, in a sense I could, I could see a lot of similarities and a lot of very interesting uh, points that apparently, judging by the uh, success the film has had so far uh, at our festival, mm, attracts also the interest of an international audience. And uh, the, the very interesting thing for me and what I would like to ask you is, um, what is the work that you did to get acquainted 
to understand and to study um, the local, um, let's say, the local culture, traditions, how people move, interact with foreigners, um, the welcoming attitude, but also the contrast between cultures and because you can see, uh, uh, let's say, the man might be a little bit afraid or a little bit rejecting the culture in the island, whereas the woman is very embracing it and attracted to it. So this contrast between um, how to approach something that is different from where you're from. So how did you, uh, let's say, study that? And uh, what was your approach when you got there with the people, with the locals? Mm -hmm. So this question is really difficult. I will answer you in Italian. Yeah, sure. um, allora, questo personaggio principale, in fondo, non cerca un contatto con le persone, ma lo direi a un, in un modo generale. Non vuole più essere a contatto con la vita e perciò non vuole innamorarsi, non vuole organizzare questa festa, però è costretto a farlo perché è suo fratello che in quel momento non può farlo. Perciò eh, era interessante cercare un, pa un paesino su un'isola dove vivono poche persone e dove queste poche persone che ci vivono in fondo hanno scelto questo stile di vita perché cercano una vita silenziosa, ritirata dal mondo, cioè loro stessi, gli isolani, non cercano il, il casino, il grande contatto con il mondo, altrimenti non vivrebbero su quest'isoletta. E per noi è stato interessante arrivare su questa isola e fare una piccola, diciamo, conferenza dove abbiamo spiegato il nostro progetto e dove abbiamo detto che avevamo bisogno dell'aiuto della gente. E da quel momento un paio di porte si sono aperte, altri sono rimasti un po' scettici, ma poi hanno capito man mano che eravamo lì che c'era da parte nostra un rispetto e una... Eh, direi una, una, vera, una vera voglia di collaborare con loro perché avevamo bisogno di barche, avevamo, avevamo bisogno di mangiare, avevamo bisogno di abitare lì. E direi che alla fine la cosa non è solo che uno viene dal di fuori e deve avvicinarsi al, a, diciamo, a una cultura, è questa cultura stessa che deve accettare lo straniero. E fortunatamente quello è successo con il film e succede anche con il personaggio quando lui alla fine lascia l'isola per andarsene è un altro uomo rispetto a, questi, a queste persone dell'isola come lui si congede da, da, da questa signora che ha l'albergo è affettuoso come lui abbraccia il figlio è affettuoso Perciò è un'altra persona quando mm -hmm. parte. E naturalmente ha incontrato l'amore. Cioè tutto alla fine diventa un, 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 diciamo, un discorso complesso. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, um, basically the, the main character of the film is, is a person who, who doesn't want to have a contact with life anymore. He doesn't want to have a contact with... Uh, with the people anymore. Uh, he wants to be alone. And that kind of reflects also the life of the people who live in the island uh, because they chose that type of lifestyle. So uh, the research that has been done was to actually look for a place for a small town where people chose to stay away from the madness, from uh, the rush of the everyday life in the bigger centers and the bigger towns and actually chose to be more isolated in a small town. And uh, um, when they firstly approached uh, the villagers and the people in the small town, uh, a lot of doors opened, but there was a lot of skepticism also at first. Uh, but 
after they had a conference and they had a meeting with uh, the people in, in the town and uh, they expressed not only the need for their help, but also the understanding of their situation and there's been a sort of um, uh, link with the people uh, who understood what was the real reason for the film to take place and uh, they understood that uh, Mr. Colla had a real genuine respect also for the people uh, in the community so it wasn't just uh, um, asking for help but it was a collaboration, it was a work together and uh, they needed um, for, they needed boats, they needed food, so they needed real help. And uh, something that I think is very interesting that has been brought up to the table is that um, it wasn't just that who comes has to adapt to the new culture, but also the locals have to embrace and have to accept who's different, so who's coming from the outside. And this is something, this is a very interesting point. Uh, because at first the main character is kind of rejecting uh, the place and not understanding uh, the culture and uh, there's a sort of clash at first but then he changes, he understands, he gets more involved in the community and the community embraces him as well so it's, it's a sort of uh, two ways relationship really beautiful and when he's actually leaving the island he he has a sort of a radio of nostalgia, he has a sort of, uh, uh, he feels sorry for leaving the place and uh, he's changed as a different person, he found love and he probably found himself as well. Um, on, on that note, um, what I noticed uh, when I firstly saw the film is how important is the nature and uh, probably choosing also the location has uh, helped has uh, helped and has worked uh, in that direction, but um, it seems like nature is definitely one of the main characters or co-protagonists, let's say, of the film, um, because on one side we have, yes, the cultural background and everything that happens, but there are some marvelous shots underwater and there are some beautiful shots that are, let's say, uh, where the sounds of nature and the silences and the, um, um, the, the actual surroundings um, kind of work like a cupid. Uh, in the direction to make the two fall in love and uh, it's just beautiful to watch. Uh, so what was the, um, when, when you got to Sicily, was that your first pick, that location? Or did you actually have to scout um, more to look for the exact place that you had in mind? That what was what is for you, let's say, the nature, and uh, what, what is the role in the film? Um, diciamo all'inizio, sì, le ho fatte tutte le isole, le ho viste tutte, tutte quelle italiane e anche quelle francesi. L'Evanzo semplicemente mi ha subito ispirato, mi ha subito colpito perché c'è il piccolo villaggino, c'è il faro distrutto e c'è una natura selvaggia. Mm -hmm. Perciò era come se il posto aspettasse il film. Mm -hmm. Poi bisogna dire che questo protagonista è botanico di professione e il suo modo di vedere la natura è un modo scientifico perché si porta dietro sempre un erbario e se vede una piantina che gli piace la raccoglie e la mette nel suo erbario. Questo è un modo, direi, eh, celebrale di vivere la natura. Mm -hmm. E questo è il suo modo. Lui, in fondo, è una persona che non lascia più spazio ai sentimenti e non vive la natura in modo, diciamo, aperto. E comincia a farlo quando comincia a innamorarsi. Perciò c'è anche lì una specie di sviluppo e di apertura. La prima volta che lo vediamo, lui cammina come un pazzo attraverso questo bosco, si è praticamente perso, 
guarda un po' e poi corre giù, c'è cioè tutto di fretta, tutto... Eh, solo più tardi lui avrà eh, dei momenti anche quando prepara il faro in cui si siede e guarda il mare. Oppure ecco, va a fare il bagno con lei e rimane in spiaggia con lei. Ci sono, direi, c'è questa natura che possiamo scoprire parallelamente alla scoperta dei sentimenti amorosi. So, um, so during the during the location scouting, uh, they have visited all the Italian and the French islands, and uh, Levanzo was um, was the first pick because it um, it was clear that the place was waiting for the film to be shot. Uh, the nature is wild and. Uh, Uh, there's a beautiful sea light, uh, an abandoned sea light that was um, one of the main locations actually in the film. And uh, the protagonist is um, botanic um, by profession, so that's his main job and his approach to nature is very scientific. So whenever he finds a specific species, a specific type of plant, he just picks it up and put it in the catalog and uh, write down the name and what type of plant it is. So it's very methodical, very scientific and scientific. And the first time that we actually see him is uh, walking through a forest, uh, walking through the woods, and he's rushing through the woods. He's not paying attention to the nature surrounding him. So his approach to nature is far from Um, what it will become actually as the film evolves because uh, the approach and the importance of the nature as a character evolves as the psychology of the character evolves so throughout the film and uh, as the film develops and the main character falls in love the love actually makes him understand and discover the nature around him who play, that, that is going to play a, a fundamental, a key role in the uh, psychological development of the uh, character and in the development of the film. Um, uh, so this happens uh, in a sort of a parallel. Um, I would like to know if there's any question from the press or anything interesting that you would like to ask. And uh, um. uh, from, from my side, um, I don't want to ask too much about the characters because I don't want to go uh, into too, too much details of the story, otherwise we reveal uh, too many things. But um, there is a very interesting uh, scene. Um, and it's so... Parallel to the nature, it feels like the hard work is a sort of, um, let's say, a sort of a journey that the characters go through. So only by working together, they can get to know each other. So the, the differences that they have at first, uh, as, as they start working for this uh, wedding, Uh, and preparing the wedding, only working together is actually what um, start to create a bond. And um, so this, this topic of the work is very interesting and it's a, sort of, um, uh, it's a sort of spending the energy, you also release all the extra that, sh that the main character was carrying on his shoulder. It's a sort of as the... the, the um, effort and the uh, work allow him to just strip from all the social constraints and all the things that he has in his mind and all the things that block him and prejudice that he has. So that's a very interesting um, topic dealt in the film. And uh, um, together with that, Um, especially talking about the, uh, the main character, it feels like, um, and, and that's why I think probably the film is so successful also in a sense of, uh, in an emotional impact. 
um, it feels like the time stops. The time stops and uh, the, um, um, the place kind of it gets separated and it's an island, but it gets even more isolated from everything. And there's only the moment where, spoiler alert, when the uh, husband of the girl comes in the island that kind of breaks this magic mm -hmm. moment. Of course. So that's a very strong moment in the film. And um, it sort of looks like a metaphor for love, you know, that it gets you um, isolated from everything that happens. You, you lose track of time, place, you don't know who you are anymore. And then there's this external factor that kind of uh, breaks everything. It's like, oh, wait a second. Let me bring you back to reality and let's see if it actually works out. Um, so that's a very, these two topics, you know, work as a sort of uh, um, cathartical journey and time and space that um, kind of breaks at a certain point. And in that also, um, what we said about uh, nature and the development of the characters and time and locations especially contributes. <laughs>